Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I was just chilling in my room um, on TikTok as I am every second of the day that I'm alive and breathing. So, oh my god, I cannot sit like this. Oh my god, I forgot to have a chair. Wait. I got a chair. Bruh, what? I was just squatting that whole time and it was really hurting my knees and I didn't realize I had like a perfect little chair to film it. This chair will definitely be featured in my upcoming videos. Oh my god, this is so cool. Why am I so out of breath? Okay. Oh my god, I'm having shortness of breath. So I've been on TikTok a lot recently, and one trend I've been seeing on my For You page is cow print. I like, I don't know why cow print is like such a trend now. I, mean, I should fix this. I hate this angle. Whatever, whatever, I'm gonna stop looking at it. Anyway, so. What was I saying? Oh, cow print, yeah. On my For You page, I see so many TikToks of people like painting cow print all over. Like, they paint their doors cow print, they're painting like their furniture cow print, and like, I'm too scared to paint my actual furniture or like anything permanent. So I have this white mirror right here. I just want to do something. Ooh, I should do tie-dye, wait. Should I paint something else on my mirror? Should I do cow print or like, you know what, I'm just gonna like get my paint and and whatever comes to my brain, I'll just paint on my mirror because I'm pretty bored of like the white. I have a white theme going on in my room and I just need some some spice, you know, some flavor. So I'm gonna paint my mirror and also answer questions because I asked for questions on my Instagram story. So we'll see if anybody even asked any. So here we go. I literally don't know how to angle this. Okay, well here are my supplies. So I got these. I have so many colors of paint that I can do whatever I want, but at the same time I'm like I should probably just do the cow print and not put effort into it. I don't know, I want to be creative. I want to be creative. Like all these people on TikTok are so creative and I literally can do whatever I want. It's a blank canvas. But cow print seems so easy. I'm gonna just go with the flow and see what happens. How should I angle this? I didn't really think about that. There, there's you guys. Hi. Ew, are y'all gonna see my face in it, in the reflection? You know what, I'm gonna, I feel like it's still off. I've been overthinking. I think my brain is just looking for some kind of like issue or conflict so it can like have that and I have no problems or anything so I think my brain is just trying to create issues so I have something to work with and feel something. Also like I have to listen to music. Ah, not you. My camera's so crooked, huh? It's fine. Are you guys okay with it? Bro, this stuff is so dumb. Play in my ear. First we're starting with our black paint. I'm just gonna, this better not spill. I'm gonna put it here, it might spill. Next to my, <laughs> next to my AirPods and my phone. Oh, I'm supposed to be answering questions. <laughs> Okay, wait. Oh my god, people actually ask me questions. Wow, thank you. Well, now the music <laughs> Now the music's kind of distracting me. Whatever. I'm going to I'm going to do it all. Ethnicity. I'm Mexican, but like I do be kind of white though cuz I don't even speak Spanish and I look Caucasian. When I have to fill out stuff, college applications, I'm Mexican. What has been your favorite year? I really hope you can't see my reflection in this. It's making me a little subconscious. Okay. This is not looking good. 2013, I had a really good birthday party and that just hi was the highlight of my whole year, I guess. But 2017 was also a really good year. I remember that because that was when I graduated high school. It was pretty much just like, oh, sorry, cl if class 2020 watching this, trigger warning. I had a super fun, like, how do people paint cow print like this? Okay, I had a super fun senior, end of senior year, like the second half. And then I had a fun summer, like last summer with my friends, and then I went to college. I think 2017 was a pretty good year. I'd say that has to be the highlight. I mean, like the best year, I think. This is so hard. Okay, what are your favorite songs slash artists? Okay, so right when I read that question, my brain shut off and I couldn't think of anyone. So I hate how I answered that, but here you go. I haven't honestly been really listening to a lot of new music, so if y'all got song suggestions, let me know. Can y'all see? That's all I've been. I'm going through these really quick for not having done anything to the mirror. Anyways, um... Did you actually drop out of college? If you're referring to like the other video where I said I was dropping out of college, um, I dropped out of that school, but I went to community college. So last semester I was in Santa Monica College, and then this semester, since coronavirus happened, I was like, I'm not doing Zoom classes. I'm not trying to go to Zoom University, so I decided to take the semester off, and I'm going to take the classes again in the fall. And if school gets canceled because of corona, like through the fall, I'm just literally going to We'll see what the world's feeling about my college plan. Kind of whatever happens with that is, I guess, what I'm supposed to do. What are your life goals? Um, ooh, um, I haven't really thought about that. Honestly, my goals in life are just to be happy. Like I, 
I'm I'm chilling, I'm vibing, and I'm happy, so like I'm not too stressed about things. I don't know. Maybe it's just cause like the world's canceled, but like I'm just chilling. I don't know. Honestly, like I don't have any like life goals. That's all I can think of. What motivates you as a person? I'm not even painting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Getting a little distracted here. What what was the question? What motivates you as a person? Honestly, am I stupid or like is being happy also an applicable answer to this? I just feel like being happy and making other people happy because I just want everybody to be happy. <laughs> that sounds so cliche. Positivity, happiness, and good vibes, you know? I don't really know. Am I dumb? Am I dumb? I need like a reference answer so I can answer my question like accordingly. How you got so much style? Teach me your ways, master. Oh, thanks. Honestly, thrifting is what made me like start dressing better because oh my god, my style was horrid before. I think I'm gonna make a video like roasting all my old outfits because they were, oh. Embarrassing. I've definitely changed a lot though, and I like my style now. And I want to go through. I just, <sighs> just want to go thrifting again. But yeah. Oh, I think I'm also gonna make a video like explaining how I dress. Basically, kind of like a lookbook of my style kind of thing. So be looking out for that. Favorite Southern food when you lived in Georgia? Okay, I don't know if you're talking about home cooked or if you're talking about uh, like fast food. I'm gonna go with fast food. Bojangles, cookout, Moe's, top three. How you handle in quarantine? Mostly, I'm. I don't know, dude. Actually, I think I'm going crazy. Make a video driving all the way to Vegas just to try Dutch Bros for the first time. <gasps> I've heard so much about Dutch Bros. Gas prices right now are so cheap. I haven't even been paying the mirror. Oh my god. I haven't been painting the mirror this whole time. Wait, I literally didn't even paint the mirror at all. Okay, dude, actually, I've been wanting to try Dutch Bros. I feel like I, I need to try it. I didn't know there was one in Vegas. Honestly, gas prices now are so cheap, though, that I've been wanting to low-key go on a road trip somewhere, but I'm like, where I can't really, like, do anything go anywhere. But Vegas is very doable. I could do that in 24 hours. <gasps> I could do that in 24 hours. Bruh, I think you just gave me a video idea. Honestly, I am down for a solo road trip to Vegas to try coffee. That's a ridiculous amount of time and distance for that coffee, but I just feel so willing to do it and just have something to feel excited about. Honestly, I'm most likely going to do that unless my parents say no. What is the reason why you started a YouTube channel? I started it in middle school. I was just, I watched Gen X Pen a lot and a lot of other YouTubers and I really wanted to make videos like her and I was super bored. I think it was like summer and I was super bored and I was just like, why not? So. I just did it. And now seven years later, I'm still doing it. Did you drop out of college? If you did, what are you planning to do? Love your vids, by the way. My next video is gonna be like explaining my whole like life plans kind of thing or like what I'm doing. Cause I know everyone's confused because I don't I never update. I'm sorry. But I'll be making a video soon, like talking about that. I'm still not explaining it. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at explaining things. So pretty much I Came back from Georgia, I decided to go to Santa Monica College and just take community college classes until I could transfer and I want to go to Northridge. It's like the one with the highest acceptance rate uh, that I could get into. My plan was to transfer in like this semester, spring semester, and then I missed the deadline again, which like literally happened in Georgia and that's why I went to community college because I missed the deadline. And then I literally missed the deadline again. I was so mad when I found that out. The counselor told me that I missed the deadline, I was like, I missed it literally by a day too. It was like the 30th. Well, I was talking to the counselor on the 1st and she's like, oh, the deadline was yesterday. Oh, oh yeah, you said you also love my vids. Thank you. Uh, how old are you? I'm 20. Oh wait, she said, how are you? Not how old are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm just chilling, you know? There's not really much to do. I applied to a few jobs, didn't hear back from any of them, so I guess they aren't that desperate. Favorite color? My favorite color is green. Favorite book? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, you are so funny. So I actually have not read a book since freshman year of high school. I read the Divergent series, all three of the books. I read the whole series. After that, I decided to actually resign from reading books and I no longer considered that uh, activity that I could do. So I'd have to say that Divergent is my favorite book. Favorite movie. I have like a few favorite movies. I really like mid-90s. Back to the Future will always be like a classic of mine. I really like Kill Bill. I like Dazed and Confused too. I'm gonna end it right there because I could go on. <laughs> How's your day going? It's pretty chill. I didn't really do anything. I, I filmed two TikToks. If you don't follow me on TikTok, then you should. I've been really spending so much time on there and um, I think it's my new career path. Climbing up to almost 900 followers on my account. I think I'm really popping off. That looks disgusting. That looks so bad. Can you see this? Right here. 
that looks so bad. That literally looks so bad. Oh my god, okay. I don't know what to do here. There are several routes we can take here. I can try to finish this and maybe fail. Or I can try to erase it, it probably won't come off. Or I can try to cover it and do some type of other artwork. But my brain capacity and creativity levels are not high enough to think of anything that I could do besides cow print. Let's see if I have any other questions. My friend Jordan said you should do a, your assumptions about me vid. I don't think I want to do that. I think so many people have assumptions about me. I don't want to hear it. I hate, I think that's my most hate, my most pet peeve. I literally am so chill with every single thing on the planet. I really don't care about anything. But when people assume things about me, oh my gosh, bad vibes. However, if I'm asking for assumptions for a video, I guess it would be fine. But I don't really want to hear any so are you going to college bruh why is my life college themed like what is the deal i swear all of my subscribers i mean two or three college videos now all of my subscribers are just people from college videos wanting to hear about college and advice and stuff and i'm like dude i'm literally out here in the process of dropping out <laughs> i don't know why my life is college themed and all my subscribers just want to know about college and stuff like i made two videos about college i guess they really popped off because that's literally all people care about i don't even even like school I hate school college is a scam I hate college I don't want that to be my theme I don't identify with that I love you so much oh my god I love you too okay so I spent the entire time answering questions and painting three three cow print things I'm kind of over it I'm kind of actually over it oh oh my god that's what I was hearing bro I swear I was hearing some kind of knocking noise it's my poster about to fall off the wall. I feel like this video is long enough as it is. Kind of realize that this is not gonna work. I'll try, I'll try for like 30 seconds to paint without talking and we'll see how far I can get. Okay, I'm done, I give up. Okay, so, oh, oh. So this is the finished mirror. Uh, from far away it looks like cow print. And, uh, actually not really. So as we can see, I failed. So. That came out really bad. She's about to fall off the wall. I'm scared. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, that did not come out how I thought it would. I really thought this was gonna be like a super cool video. That didn't work out at all. I'm actually really embarrassed by the outcome of that. I ruined my mirror. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't leave it like that. That's gonna bother me. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you to everyone who asked me questions. Uh, my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna end the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I let you back in my heart.